G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zawoodle, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die, where we are back in our mega city, oh, watching the sunrise, but definitely counting down, not just the days, but the hours, until it all comes to a head. We are pushing for the Day 70 Horde at this point, the finale of this series, and hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll make it there in one relatively solid piece. Things could still go wrong, very wrong, very quickly, especially when I'm gambling like I am today. I'm going to push today down to the uh, Bob's Boars down here, get myself some more Super Corn to make myself my learning elixirs and things like that for the next Horde night. And then I've really got to push to try and open that fresh family pack of Tim Tams, get up to this town up here, and hopefully find the books that I need. I've been yearning for them, pleading and begging for them for so bloody long. At this point, if I don't find them, Horde night's going to be particularly more difficult than it should be. If I find them... Sick tits. If I don't, soggy bananas, really. So I've got to get up there and find those books. But the sun is up. Things are crafting away. I need to fuel me body and get cracking on. Time is of the essence. I have a clam shatter here, don't I? Not a, uh, that one. Sham chatter, not clam shatter. That's something completely different, I swear. Suck up one of you. Let's go. I'm really happy, actually. I'm really uh, like at ease now. Well, not really at ease, but I'm much more at ease than I was, knowing that now I've gone through and done the work to upgrade oh, to upgrade my horde base and have that extra utility component to protect my electricity. I mean, you're a Crackbook HQ, but we know that Crackbook HQs are bad for books now, which is really bloody dumb. You'd think that's probably where you'd go to get all the books. But that would have and does have lots of Crackbook boxes in the basement. Plus, it has a relatively high loot stage as well. I'll hold on to it for now. I've already you guys yet. No, I haven't. I'll hold on to that for a rainy day should I need you later. I want to go and explore... That's the wrong book. Explore the northern town to see if there's something worthwhile up there. But I suppose if I'll find nothing, I can come back for that one. If I know it's there already, it's not going to go anywhere. Here we go. Here's the joint. Just park my bike up right outside where I'm about to surface later on. Oh, good day, buddy boy. Just, uh... Quickly sit you down. I like that even... Oh, was a newspaper stand over there. I like that even the crawlers, when they're feralized, still give you more XP. Speaking of, could we swap you back over? Then, um, uh, then the normal ones, even though they're just the same speed and just as deadly as the regular kind. That's another cracker book HQ. God, they're everywhere out here. <laughs> Unfortunately, the books aren't though. But you still get that boosted XP, even though the uh, the danger isn't any worse. I'm gonna go about as quick as I can. I can't push too hard because I'm still gonna be a little bit stealthy. I'm expect entirely into stealth, so that's important to maintain. But I wanna get through here about as quick as possible. Where the hell is the aggro boar got? He's normally hanging out in that corner over there, but he's disappeared now. Quickly sit you down and your little friendly buddy boy over there as well. There's bacon bits of plenty, but I'll grab you in a tick. Need to make sure no one's gonna like blindside me here and stick a tusk where the sun don't shine. There's usually someone hiding out in there, stripper titties. How are you, love? I mean, look, I'm a big fan of surprise parties, but you're not quite what I was expecting, so I'll just deal with you behind the scenes while no one else is looking. What that actually entails, I'll never tell you, so you'll never bloody know. Don't need any more lead. Quickly search for all of you for anything a little bit exciting, of which there is none. Scrap you for some extra iron. There's like, yeah, there's like no zombies. It's a weird kind of thing with Bob's Balls. There's not a lot of zombies to start with. They all kind of happen later. And even then, it's not really that bad. See how stealthy we can... Dude, this bit, the wind just cut out there all of a sudden. That's a ScoMo. Hold on a jiffy. Let me just quickly whip out a bolt for you and put it right through the top of your skull. Perfect. Let me take it back. Look at your jiggle. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Look at you. ScoMo, look, if you're going to try and hide out in a room... I'd say hide in the corner, but even if you did, you'd still be in the middle somehow. Not leaving anything behind today. Make sure we're grabbing all of this, gubs. Nothing hiding behind. Okay. So, what's the time? Well, it's only 7 a.m. We're already through the first kind of like quarter of the building. What a cool city, though. I... Listen, I've only got a couple of days left in this world, and I'm going to miss it. I've really enjoyed Mega City. Oh, there's some extra cobble down there I'll get later on. It's been a different kind of challenge, and it's been, well, a pretty stressful challenge half the time. But getting through it, getting familiar with this world, once it's gone, I will be a little bit sad. I'm not going to lie. Like, um, I mean, you're gone now, but I'm not sad about that one. Fast game is a good game, Josh. Well, I mean, can you go speed stealth? Is speed stealth really a thing? If it is, I'm going to give it a red hot crack right now. 
No one hiding in the corners. Turn your headlight off to be extra stealthy. Because so there's usually someone in here, isn't it? There you are. There's one. Sit you down. Got any other friendos up there? <laughs> no, there isn't. Because even though I'm stealthy, I can still jump through the ceiling. Quickly whack on the old loot and specs and... I'll just take you and leave the rest of it. Oh, and take the concrete as well. Not leaving anything unturned. No, nah, we're good. I thought for a second there I left the bolt behind, but we're all fine. Grab all of this extra concrete. This is going really well. I like speed stuff. It's fun. Hey, DD, real fast. Can you just hold on to all of the concrete I got right now? Because I have bulk of it. Cobblestone as well. And the meat select. I've got a lot of extra resources. Ah, listen, deeds. I like you a lot. Here you go. You can just hold on to all of that for me. I know there's a joke there somewhere about giving Deeds all of my meat, but no! Deeds a classy drone. She ain't in for that kind of thing. At least until I buy a... Well, I was gonna say a drink or two, but probably a nice fancy meal. Deeds seems like that kind of lass. Anyone in here? Oh, yep. There's you. Drop me some juicy loot as well. Don't mind if I do. Speaking of juicy... The hitbox is a real I bloody juicy. Oh, for God's sake. For God's sake. I'm trying to do this nice and cleanly, and you're just making my life difficult, ScoMo. And door. Let's see what we've been left. Gluten specs are on. Grilled meat recipe. Scrap you for the lead. I'll take the rest of you. Thank you very much. Not surprised the biker boy was rolling with a full needle of roids, but listen, he hits like a brick shit house. You kind of expect him to be on the juice. Nothing else around. No shoes. All right, we're fine. But more importantly, we're through to the good stuff. There's some super corn there. Stealth on. Quickly drop down. Reload me crossbow because I will need it. Where are they? Oh, there's one. I was going to say, where are they hiding? That's a... Definitely sounded like a Yeti who was awake. I... No, he just died? Def what did you die from? You, are you, what, you just saw me come and saw me murder your little friend over here. You're like, you know what? Just gonna, just gonna kill over right here. I'll save you the trouble. Or did you just do that so I wouldn't get any extra experience? You selfish ass hats. Murder you, speaking of ass hats. You're not gonna be wearing a hat for a while. Before I do anything else, though, quickly grab that super corn. It only gave me one, but how much do I actually need for it? It's a uh, learning elixir. That one, only one. So the conversion rate, pretty bloody wonderful. Uh, still keep you on me though. Sure, take you. Oil shale is actually something I have not thought about in a hot minute. I don't know, I've, ooh, thank you. That's some more gunpowder out of you. Don't need testosterone though. Um, yeah, I haven't thought about getting myself any uh, oil shale for like ever. I've always had more than enough gas. Do I ever actually go mining for oil shale or does this have plenty of dinosaur juice to start with? Because I don't remember doing it. Maybe my memory's just trash. Down to the last room. In fact, is there any zombies in this bit or is it just the next bit? I might quickly whack on the old XP gods and figure this place out as quickly as I can. No, that's a dingo up on the surface. That's fine. So there's none? There's no zombies in the basement of this place? That seems like an oversight and too good to be true, but I'm not going to turn it down. We've got some clay out of you. I'll take all the extra resources I can as well. I'm not going to turn it down. Almost 10 a.m. What a productive morning so far. We are flying. Don't mind me, DD. Just going to whip on through and harvest up all me corn. Well, there's eight in here and one upstairs to get nine corn per uh, Bob's boards. It's actually pretty okay. That's nine learning elixirs, which is nothing too shabby. I'll break you down for the extra four sign as well. I don't know if especially needed, but waste not, want nots. Yeah, nah, good. Yeah, ooh. Yeah, nah, good. Cheeky. I actually, I'll leave most of you behind. There's still so much to go, though. Apparently, if you want concrete, if you need cements, that's the wrong thing. That was a body. You come to Bob's boards. Ah, it's just a dingo. It's fine. It's fine. I'll whip it with a cheeky boomerang. We'll be all sorted and sweet. Yeah, if you need concrete, you come to Bobby's because there's more here than anywhere else. Dee's struck a block full of it already. I'll see how much he's gotten, but this is insane. Here you go. Deeds, hold this. Hold all of that if you can, please. Uh, I'll quickly chuck you away. I definitely don't need... I have so many bones. Holy crap, I've got so many bones. Scrap you. Uh, you can go in there in your stead. So how much have you got? 
Like 4,000 cement for one trip. That's, that's bloody ridiculous. That's way too much. Best bang for your buck you can get. Speaking of banging for bucks, though, I mean, Super Cities isn't anywhere to be found, but... Oh, mate, Gracie is cooking whip up all of you. Now, do we reckon with all of my perks, I can one-shot Gracie? Let's give it a crack. No! No! No, I can't! Do oh, I can bloody disintegrate her, though. Never got a chance to harvest her up. Ma'am. Okay, there's still some things out there that can't be killed. Not as easily as, I'd be, as I would like. So what's our reward? Got a reinforced chest and a couple of boxes. No cracker books, but a mo power and a passing gas. I mean, I've already got DD, so the electronics box, not exciting at all. Already got a motorcycle that I had to spend so many points to get the uh, the schematic for. Uh, so if I find one now, I'll be a little bit spitting chips. That's in on the first crack, though. Can't be too upset about that one. All right, let's start with the low value stuff. I'll take, you can stay in there actually. I'll take the first aid kits. Cheeky Shamway with shadows flying around. Dee is getting me all sorts of puckered. Hold on there, dearest. I'll be with you in a moment. Mo power. Mm, scrap you, scrap you. Take the elect uh, electronics parts. What's in you? Absolutely nothing. Stop trying to give me steel spear parts. I'm never going to accept it. Nothing really there either. And, ooh. I will graciously accept you. Scrap that one, take the rest. Am I currently wearing on the old noggin? Yep, that's a pretty clear upgrade. Happy with that one. We're all good to go. Quickly make sure the coast is clear. There's probably still a bunyip or something hanging out out here, which I need to deal with pretty quickly. Oh, yep, here I've comes someone. Nah, 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 nah. It's fine. It's fine, Deeds. If I can hit a shot, I'd sit him down. There we go. I'm going to follow up. Cheeky dingo as well. Yeah, you better run. See, what are you worried about? The Dolch has got my back. Man, my loadout right now, it's kicking the shit out of everything. I'm actually thinking, seeing as I do need to head north, I might just quickly swing past my uh, town hall base. I don't have a dump chest, which sucks, but I'll quickly head on over there and uh, just drop everything off that I can. Nice and quickly. Maybe just like just shove shit in the box somewhere and not think about it for a while. Maybe we just quickly whip up a cheeky dump chest, because why not? But a quick drop everything off, so I've got a nice clear inventory ready for the next step of my raid adventure. So where am I going? I'm going to go dig up the buried treasure quest. It's only bloody midday, and hopefully find myself some cracker book boxes. I'm desperate for that literature. It's really the only thing left that I really, really actually want. Oh, for goodness sake, I lost my traction there for a second and couldn't bloody turn. Ooh. Can I, like... How do I, how do I horn again? No, not that one. Oh, jeez, good day, buddy boy. Maybe I just have to, like, shamelessly murder them instead. I don't want to leave any bodies behind, either animated or otherwise. Oh, there's a derper coming in as well. Quickly headshot you, and you just get one shot on them, then I can deal with them afterwards. Need you guys just to relax a little bit. I have to look at where that bloody package is coming down. We came over that way. Didn't see you drop on that side. Ooh, directly east. And in fact, so directly east, it's probably about them which unfortunately is like not in the desert <sighs> oh, hang on hang on i'll go and get you in a jiffy i'll drop all this shit off i can't say no it's a shiny things on the horizon i can't resist i've got the self-control of a freaking mars bar you know what here's what i'll do i'll use this hardened chest here as my dump chest in goes all of you dd still got a couple of things on you somewhere wherever they're Heck, she is gone. Diddy, could you make an effort to come and actually find where I am, please? I'll run further away. Maybe you'll teleport to me. No? Where? <laughs> I can hear you buzzing about. Where are you, Great Galar? There you are. Jeez, finally found you. Give me the last couple of things out of you. I'll whack them in, uh, in the box over here. There you go. But real quick. Mm... Nah, that's fine. That's fine for now. Okay, it's now 1 p.m. I wasted so much time laughing about with that. Why is my bike all stand stood up like that? It's like a bike stand all of a sudden. It's just some gums on the ground, but <laughs> okay. Do a sneaky burn up before we take off. Let's go get the derpo, then head north. I have to spend another night in the cathedral base. That's okay. Because now that I have like my horde base sorted out and my arrow production ki uh, cooking away nicely, I don't really need to be back at my home base all that much. Should be fine without me just for the moment. 
I was hoping to find it before the bloody mountain range out here. Oh, it's right at the top too. You know what? Just, just wait there. Just wait there. I'll be right back. It's easier for me to mountain go up the slopes than it is to try and get the spikes out of the wheels to get the job done. What an inconvenient drop that was. Loot and specs on though. Supply crates. Cheeky corner of the cop, but they'll take all of you. Range mods bundle. I think I heard some footsteps, but no, it's okay. What'd you give me? I did hear some footsteps. That's why you gotta use your e-sight every now and again. Nice view from up here. I always like it up here. Um, Cripple them, laser sight, and reflex sight. Not a bad little uh, pocket of mods, actually. That's pretty good. All right, we've got the turpo, though. Now I can focus what I actually have to do and stop faffing about and wasting all my time. We're going straight out to uh, to the western town. Oh, piss off, Vulture. I don't want to deal with you right now. I'm going to head to the north side as well. We'll keep our eyes peeled while we're tracking to see if we can find some cracker books. But I want to get that buried treasure. I mean, it might just give me a whole bunch of money, but it might give me something good as well. It's worth risking it. It might have it. I was just thinking about how I hated having to drive long distances on the motorcycle. I did find, like, one of the schematics for the gyro, didn't I? I haven't found both of them, but I found definitely one of them. Don't want to stop right there, because there is a pelican chasing me down like I've stolen a glad-wrapped lunch. Incoming enemy. Yeah, 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 it's all good. I'll get some distance and quickly just uh, double-check it. What's the go? What's the go here? Gyro. So I need the accessories. Well, I'll find one of those. Happy bloody days. Even though there's only a couple of days left, I'm still going to make myself the gyro because driving everywhere is a pain in the asshole. But I feel like I've been really unlucky with the loot this time around. Like, I found a couple of good things early on, but the game's really made me work for everything. Stuff I normally... Uh, like expect to have but like day 50 60 just hasn't gone my way i tell you what the next time someone posts a comment that's like oh typical creator luck always get the good stuff so easily i was gonna link them the playlist for this series and just be like clearly fucking not i've made it through to the northern end of town you can see the sweet drift around that corner you can see all the way out there a whole other city that i haven't even scratched the surface of yet like, I've gone exploring a lot, and there's still entire cities I haven't been to. That's a shotgun messiah factory. I'll just, like, whiz around the outside of you past the cheeky drive-in. Oh, come on. Stay with it. So we're all the way on the far side now. Didn't see any cracker books that I haven't been to already on the way here, but that's okay. I'll go and dig up this treasure, then take a long route on the way back again and see what we can come across. So good, though. So good. What a world. Here we are. Circle should be just about here. There it is. Oh, there's... Ooh, Journey's Head might not be a terrible place to go looting either. I'll keep that in mind. I was going to say, I did see a pelican around here somewhere. Can I just, like, draw you in, please? Go like that. Oi, look at this. Mmm, it's like I've just whipped out a cheeky cheese ball with some pre-cut camembert. Get the shit down here and bury your nozzle in me. Mostly so I can do the same back to you. I still haven't seen anyone mention what, like, the new meta is for digging up buried treasure. So I'm still working with the old uh, method of just going to the southwest corner and digging it out from there. And for the most part, it seems to work out pretty well. Still got my loot and specs on, so it should be a little bit easier to find the thing. Just dig down to the stone level somewhere. There it is there. And then dig out from that part. Getting close to the treasure, I damn well better be. If it's not down here soon, I'm going to run out of time. The nice thing actually about having max level parkour is I no longer need an exit ramp like I normally would. I can just dig away my uh, my ramp because often the treasure is buried underneath it. Yep, still pushing me this way. That's fine. And I can just hop out of here when I need to later on. It's good. There are several perks to having good level parkour. I will miss it, but I also don't think it's super necessary. I'm not sure I'm desperate to spec into it again. I'm starting to get a little bit frustrated. I've dug out, like, the entire place. The circle is the size of a penny. And I still haven't found the bloody treasure yet. Oh, because you were so much deeper than I thought you were going to be. All right, then. Fair play to you, lad. I guess that's my fault. I'm used to it being like that one block above the stone layer. I'm not that far down. So, all right, I'll put my hand up and say that I'm a Muppet. But it was in... Where did I enter in? From here. Oh, you cheeky git. You would have been outside the circle when it first started there. Because I started in the southwest corner. And we've gone further southwest. Not sure how I feel about that one. In fact, I am sure how I feel about that one. That's like I just got dicked. What's in you? I'll scrap you, take you, take you, take you. That's all ammo maker material. Thank you very much. Another couple of cheeky thousand dollar redos. Scrap that. The rest of you can all stay behind. All right. Easy as. Up and out. 
Yeah, nah, fuck it. Let's go right back to Journey's End. It's a place I haven't been to in this series, and I think, from memory, it has some pretty decent stuff in it. Before I actually go inside the big scary building over there, I'll whip on the old XP gogs to my head light off. My senses and... have picked up something. Oh, it's just a snake. It's fine. It's fine. You're all good. I thought it was going to be something bigger and scarier, although that is a killer path, and that's a much bigger snake than I've ever had experience dealing with, given that it's only been my own. Um... What is here? Quickly check you. Mm, scrap you. Take the glue. You know what? I'll leave that. I'll normally break that stuff down, but this time I'll try and hasten my journey a little bit. Just make sure we tick off all the boxes without faffing about too much. Oh, good pill, Josh. I'm trying to remember before I go inside, which is just in there and is all nice and welcoming, but also very deadly. There was definitely like a, she a cheeky weapons bag or something sashed outside, wasn't there? Ooh, I thought it was like... Oh, now here it is. Yes, there it is. Look at me actually remembering something for a change. Normally, my memory is about the same consistency as a jellified goldfish. But this time, well, we managed to make it work, which I'm pretty okay with. All right, weapons back done. I don't think there's anything extra out here that I need to be too aware of. Let's get inside and get cracking. You know what? I'm actually going to leave my looting specs on. I'm desperate for shiny loot things. That's probably more important to me than XP. Oh! The next P at this point. <laughs> you ain't flying. you nice and sneaky. That's just a crawler. That's fine. No, oh, no, I was hanging out over here. That's all good. Uh, where's my best chance of finding books? Like, not really in kitchens, I suppose, but I have to scratch that itch and loot what I can. Bit of fluids. Thank you very much. I was getting a little bit thirsty. In fact, there's some extras in there too. Happy bloody days. Any coffees for me as well? No, come on. Listen, this is why I had to put around through your temple. You knew it was coming. Didn't even make a coffee for me. The height of rudeness. Just sit you down nice and easily. Oh God, I love it. I, every game, any game that ever has like bolts or arrows, or whatever, it should be compulsory. People should go to jail. They should go to jail if they don't put in the uh, bolts that stay in the target after they're shot. Oh God. Where the heck did you come from? I thought you were the one that I shot in the noggin a second ago, but no, you were a different one. Can you not? And can you please not? Where the hell? That extra zombie come from? I thought I had this place pretty well locked out and covered. I was faffing about talking about video game laws that I wish existed so that I could always see where my shots landed. How did you find me? Where did you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? It's real mysterious. Oh god. Oh, it's this bit. It's this bit where you drop down into the death trap down below. I was actually going to get my bolt back, but okay. Uh, well, a lot of zombies did just kind of come up for me up here, so I think maybe. This joint should be relatively clean. Don't need murky water. Is there anyone else waiting for me down here? Oh! Sorry, buddy. I know you're a piece of shit and you went to where all stun buttons should go, but... Oh, man. I was being real cavalier about that. I probably should have paid more attention. Might need to roll the SMG out for a moment. I'm trying to be stealthy with this, but... I'm also trying to go quickly. Those are not good combinations, but I refuse to give up on speed stealth. There's an eye candy in this vendor. What's my looting stage like here at the moment? I bought it anyway. <laughs> level 69. Nice. Loot stage is 158. And that's going to put it up by 5 for 5 minutes. I might just use you now. 178. Might just use you now and see if I can just get through the rest of the POI. Like, this 5 minutes is actually quite a long time. I usually only pop it right at the end when I'm about to get to the main loot area. But... I mean, if I'm going to raid a whole bunch of, like, bookshelves and stuff like that along the way, I want to have that extra goodness going for me. No one at the check-in desk. Gordon would be very upset with you. <laughs> Speaking of being very upset, how is there nothing here? There we go. There's some juicy bookshelves for me. No one lurking out here anymore. They've already come to try and rearrange my face. Ooh. Got me a little bit excited there for a moment, but no, it wasn't to be. Nothing in you and nothing in you. God, what? They know I was coming to just drink all the coffee before I got here? Um, you gotta give me something. So far, nothing's gone my way. I'm thirsty. I need a beverage. Oh, I see the legs of someone and... Yep, someone hanging out on the porch as well. I understand the love of balconies, but can't have you doing it. That's gonna be my balcony for too long. Uh, I can't see your main head, so I'll shoot your other head instead. Oh, but that looks real uncomfortable. I'm not sorry about it, though. You get what you bloody deserve. Uh, you quickly reload that one. Grab. 
Scrap you, take you, cheese knackers, take my bolts back as well. Thank you very much. Oh, I do remember this place. I was gonna say there's someone upstairs, shot him in the ankle. Didn't seem to mind too much. I'm not gonna go machetes. I'm not gonna- Oh, Jesus Christ! He came out like a freaking meteor! Surprised this whole building didn't implode into a crater! Oh man, you must wiped out the freaking dinosaurs again, ScoMo! The velocity on that pumpkin! Oh man! Anyway, I'm gonna try and go about as quickly as I can to take advantage of my uh my loot and candy while I got it. Up you get. Down you go and scone you in the chin. I was gonna say there was more stuff up the top, wasn't there? Quickly sort you out though. See, I tried to go stealthy like Scomo wasn't having it. Yeah, there was. There was a weapons bag up here. Quickly grab you. I no longer oh, I'll scrap the committee. I'll take the gunpowder. I don't need to build myself like stairs to get up to these places anymore. I can just jump up there because I can squeeze through into and onto anything. Open you. Back to stealthies. What's the time? It's 8 o'clock. Got two minutes left of my loot and candy. That's fine. No need to panic just yet. We're doing okay. Mm, what are you? No, you're just a light. I was checking for sneaky things in the rafters. Doesn't look like much though. There's all the loot that I came for. Open up you. <laughs> Open up, Lost Dog. Uh, you. Uh oh. Uh oh. I heard. Yep. Dull oh, shit. I was gonna say, I heard a white. Oh! It's getting dicey. We're okay though. Yeah, we're. <laughs> They're just coming from everywhere. Even being stealthy boy quiet didn't work out well for me. Sit you down. Oh, that's what I wanted though. Cheeky cracker book box. Thank you very much. Got a minute left on my loot. So I've timed that to perfection. I'll grab all this stuff first, then see what I can... Oh, it's a book I hadn't read, but only for fists. I'm gonna say and see what I can find at the end. Open up the box at the last second though. Not wasting my loot and candy time. That was definitely the right call because I'm picking against the clock. Got 20 seconds to go and two seconds left on the pick. Ah, oh, there's... Oh, <laughs> cold and early. Went the, e the early crow and it's cost me. I thought I got to the zeros. I didn't. Now I have though. With six seconds remaining. <gasps> you son of a bitch. God damn it. Fuck you game and all of your dick bag deities. <laughs> I've done all my mining now. I just did all my gunpowder mining. I don't need the auger as soon as I don't need it anymore. You give it to me. You cock teasing, cock burning, fucking chlamydia riddle fuck. That's, that's worse. That's worse than Arlene cruising up in some scantily clad tight leather dress, rubbing the inside of your thigh for about 45 fucking minutes, then going home with the cowboy again. Fucking hell. God damn it. Scrap that. Take the rest and just be a bitter piece of shit for the rest of the day. Oh, I'm so annoyed. See what's up the top here in case there's anything waiting for me. No, not by the looks of things. That's nah, nice and empty. What about in here then? Use the side table to get up. Nothing there. Okay. Well, open up the doors and get out of here. It's nine o'clock and I am spitting hot chips. Go away, Dingo. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? You're running away like you bloody should. <sighs> that was not, not what I wanted to happen there. Could have given me anything else and I'd have salivated over it. But the moment, like yesterday would have been a bonus. The moment I didn't need the auger anymore, it shows up. Oh, <laughs> I'm so sad now. Not entirely sure where else to look, but I'll ride through town as much as I can and see if I can find another cracker book box somewhere. And, uh, there's a working stips truck, that's fine. I don't want to find another auger where I can get even more upset than I already am. Oh, please, you have picked the wrong day to fuck with my spaghetti. Go away. Any of those shots should have hit, but apparently, nah, mate. Mmm. It's fine, it's fine. Happy and positive thoughts. Fucking happy thoughts. There's not really much of anything around here, to be honest. There was an apartment building over there, but that's a death trap. No, thank you. There's a robotics store. Don't need any more of those, though. Mm, what are you? I don't recognize that one. It could be like one of those restaurant places, maybe? House Wines. Got another... Ooh, hang on a second. Got another construction site over there. Have I been to this cracker book before? 
We'll just yes, I have because there's a frame out the front. So that's why I get to it. Past Josh looking out for future Josh. You love to see it. It's rare, but occasionally it happens. Oh, it actually wasn't another construction site at all. It's the one I've already been to. I just somehow got turned around and ended up on the wrong side of town. All right, well, in that case, I'll quickly just always bang my way up to the other side where I just was digging up that treasure. Because I want to come through the more densely packed part of the city and see what's out there. Squeeze on through. I mean, there's a reasonable chance. I've already been to that cracker book. That's fine. There's a reasonable chance I might have to go to that new northern city. I mean, if I need to find places I haven't raided yet, a new untouched city is the place to be. I don't know. It's like, what, day 67, about to day 68? A couple of days to go. Do I keep risking it to find those books? And I think I have to. Yeah, I've definitely been through all of this area before. I think that's got to be the play. I think that's my best option is to head north to the new city and see what I can find. Like, I've got a good amount of resources on me now. My ammo's still crafting back home. It's a long drive to get back to the town hall base anyway, so I don't really want to do that for no reason. There's my cathedral over there. There is still cracker books around, like cracker book HQs, but they're just not worthwhile. Plus what waits for me in the base of those places is utter nightmare fuel and a pretty good chance of fucking me up. So I think, yeah, I think that's the go. I think I'll head up to the Northern city, the new Northern city and see what's out there. Could only be good, right? That's a lie. We definitely be bad. Well, I think if I'm heading somewhere that I haven't been before, I should be pretty generous with the gubs I take with me. So like that, for example. In fact, give me all of those floors and things I didn't mean to chuck in the box. And Dee Dee, you can hold on to that. You can be my floating snack machine. I mean, Dee Dee's a snack by herself, but give us some extra, you know, like, a, you know, some um, rejuvenating snacks for afterwards. All of that. The rest of this stuff can all go away if it can. Chuck you into them. Chuck all the stuff away. In fact, I've got plenty of fluids and things waiting for me in here. Give me all of that. Deeds, hold on to this for me. Look at you. You're just stacked to the brim like a floating vending machine. Let's make sure while I'm thinking about it as well, I'll quickly repair my Dolce. Repair. Mm, I very rarely use the sheet, so it's not really worth the repair, I don't think. I'll save that one. I do actually need to repair my noggin. There we go. Repair you because I just found it. I need to make you whole again. Everything else there is nice and happy. I'll actually put extra repair kits into these. Look at you being well sorted. But I don't need you right now. I'll go and nibble on that one. Uh, scrap you. That should be fine. Two cans of salmon, a bunch of fluids. That should be well and sorted. Right. So tomorrow, what's it going to be? It's going to be day 68. We've got 60 days, 69. Nice. And then day 70. And then it's all done. It's all sorted. That's daunting. That's real daunting. So I'll head up, break out of this town and into the next town, into the great unknown. And was, I think there was another town out here as well. So even after all this time, pushing my luck as much as I have, I haven't actually got to all of the cities on the mega city map, which is bloody ridiculous. But I'll go up north. It should be another desert town, so I'll see what's waiting for me up there. Hopefully find the books that I need. Maybe even some weapon stores. We'll go like to maybe find a, a T6 Dolce or an SMG. Maybe I should raid like a Crackable HQ when I get up there, because that might give me both. I might be able to tick off both boxes at the same job, but I'll have to go and raid that northern town, take my snack laden DD with me, and hope for the best in the next episode, because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the page of the Patreon who made this episode possible. If you liked, it, make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.